Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. And in this tutorial, we will cover very briefly uh, something about a new feature in Matrix called the variables. Now, what are variables for those of you who are not developers? Well, the easiest way to think about variables is they are symbols which can have some sort of value associated with them. Like, uh, let's say, a variable dog name can have a value as associated with it, rover. So, dog name equals rover. Okay, now that we got that covered, uh, let's see what we can do with uh, variables in Matrix. I'm going to do a very simple and brief demo we are going to create a simple deck where we will control the audio volume in Windows and we will use variables to bind the Windows volume to the slider in Matrix. So, let's start. Uh, first, we will create a new deck. We will call it uh, variables volume demo okay and we can load it in our device okay nothing there fine then we will add a slider which we will use to control the volume so let's add an action which will be set volume and I'll set the volume to, let's say, mm, default multimedia device. Oh, sorry, I'm going to use the playback device. Uh, let's do the monitor so that I don't cut out the audio that I'm recording. Okay. Let's open up our Windows Volume Mixer, like so, and see if it works. Oh, let's just put this. This is the monitor. And as I move the slider on my phone, the volume in Windows changes. But if I use the Windows Volume Mixer and change the volume, whoops, my slider in uh, Matrix Client does not move, does not reflect the state of volume in Windows. So what can I do about it? Well, let's open our variables window. And as we move the slider, uh, let's see, as we move the slider, we should see PG, yeah, that, that one. We should see the volume of our monitor speakers change, like so. So, matrix is actually outputting those changes to variables, which we can utilize to synchronize matrix controls with variables. In this case, the volume. Okay, so uh, let's go to the advanced properties of this slider. And here, uh, with control state binding, we will bind the slider value to the volume. And that was the monitor volume. Okay. Let's save this and let's see what happens. We move the slider in Windows and the corresponding matrix slider moves as well. Also, when I move the slider in matrix client, the volume in Windows changes. Okay, great. Now let's see what else we can do. 
let's say we want to display the exact volume on this slider like 5%, 10%, 100%, whatever. We can bind the control text to this same variable to display the exact value. Okay, uh, let's find it. This was this was the one. Yeah, the, the variable which holds the volume of this device that we chose. Okie dokie. And we have the number 82. As we move it, it changes. Let's see if we use the Windows Volume Mixer. Yeah, it basically follows it. Great. But let's say we want to do something fancy. Like, if the volume goes over 90%, instead of a number, we want to display a message too loud. Okay. So we are going to use the calculated value. Basically, this is a body of a JavaScript function which has two parameters. First parameter is the ve called value, and it is the value of this variable. The other parameter is key value collection variables, with key being the variable name and the value being variable value. But we will not use that. We'll just use this variable. So I'll write a simple expression. Let's say if value, which in our case, oops, if value is greater than 90%, then we will return to loud else we will return just the value and let's say we'll add a percentage sign at the end now we can test our transformation function by clicking the test button. Oops. Oh, I forgot this. You have to return the value from the function. Okay, we got 70%. Now, uh, just to test it, I will increase the volume like so and try a test again. And now we get too loud. Okay, let's save it. And let's see what happens. Well, it's too loud. Now it's not too loud. And let's try it with the Windows Volume Mixer. And now it's too loud. Uh, yeah, it works pretty well. Now, let's do just another quick and easy button. We'll put a button that will indicate if this device is muted or not. Um, let me just, because I'm going to use the fancy graphics, I'll go to material, design, icons. Oh, where is it? Here it is. And I'll, because I don't know how it's called. Okay, it's called volume dash off. Okay, volume dash off. I'll put the text here. Vol MD MDI volume dash off. And I'll say that I won't use the normal font, but the icons. Okay, now we get a nice little picture of crossed out speaker. Let's save it. Okay, now we need to add an action. 
to our button and that will be volume mute and we will use the same playback device that we used before and that is our monitor okay now let's test it out okay when I press this yeah it mutes and unmutes but what happens if I do the same in volume mixer nothing happens oh bummer but there is a solution I will use this button and let's see what happens to the variables as I press the button on the client you see this variable which says WA for Windows Audio prefix and the device name underscore muted it changes as I mute and unmute the device basically matrix audio control emits variables back uh, to matrix and we can use that to uh, dynamically change the state of our button so let's do it we will go here to advanced and we have this part control state binding for button pressed we will click this variable symbol and we will choose that mute variable save it save okay so let's see what happens when I mute this device huh pretty neat huh and when I do it from the client yeah works pretty well so in essence this is just a short and not very deep overview of what you can do with variables and magic there's a lot more to it uh, currently uh, variables that matrix provides you are related to uh, Windows Audio and um, OBS Studio if you are connected to OBS Studio but also various plugins or integration API clients can uh, feed matrix additional variables so you can use them um, in building your decks as well so I hope this has been interesting there's a lot more to talk about variables and I hope I will be recording more videos about this there's also a section in the manual which explains things about uh, variables in uh, slightly more detail and that's it for today if you have any questions or need help you know where to find me on our discord that's it from me and bye everybody and have a nice day